craziness of high school basketball. These have clearly been the two top teams in the Boston City League on the girls' side for a long time. Always fun to see the future of Boston basketball. Wayne Wild straight oh, to the yeah, bucket. He wants to finish that one. Guerrero knocking down the runner there for O'Brien. They're playing their basic wrong game. Benway is really tough to beat. Four seconds. Boston fires it up. Buries it. Burnett in the Academy. Jeremiah Burr. The 2020 boys champion. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Madison Park High School in Roxbury. We bring you a matchup in the Boys Division Three State Quarterfinals as tonight the Latin Academy Dragons take on the Tech Boston Bears. Hello, everybody. I'm Pat Flaherty, joined by my partner, Alan Platt. And, Alan, you know, when they started this state quarterfinal game, or the, rather this state tournament this year with the new statewide rankings, we thought we'd have teams all over the place. But here in the state quarterfinals, we have two Boston City League teams facing each other for the right to the state right. semifinals. Yeah, thank you, Spade. Very unusual, but the fact is both these teams have really earned their way here. If you look at the opening rounds, all right, you got Czech Boston won that game by 15, the first game. That's right. And they beat Arlington Catholic by eight. Meanwhile, you had Latin Academy beating Sandwich, the game we did, by 17. Came back and beat Oscar of Williams by 15. So they've, they've earned their way here. Now, these two teams are very familiar with each other. They played twice during the season. They split. But what's, what's sort of strange is each visiting team won the game. Okay, and here we are now, supposedly a neutral court, That's but right. both teams also play here during the season sure. as part of the Boston City schedule. So, in reality, a lot of familiarity between the two teams uh, should be a really good contest. No question. And then between these two teams, the two point guards have really been playing well for both squads, especially here in the state tournament. First, we'll talk about Latin Academy and their uh, top point guard this year, the senior. He's really stepped up for the Dragons this year. He's our spotlight player tonight. That's Benny Martinez who's really had an outstanding tournament so far. He really has, and Benny brings a lot of emotion, a lot of leadership, and if you talk to Danny Bunker, he'll say that Benny you know, might be his best overall defender. So Benny has a lot of responsibility on him to keep the team up and running, but also get them in the right positions when they go to their variations of zones on defense. Yeah, no question. I mean, he's really been more of a facilitator this season, good defensive player, but he's picked up his scoring a little bit here in the state tournament as well, and because of their lack of ball handlers, he's their main guy when it comes to handling the basketball, and you see him finishing out on the break there, too. Oh, yeah, he's he got finish. the quickness to he go off. He has a nice little mid-range jump shot, so yeah, Benny's going to be a key player, obviously, from the beginning of the game. No question. You know, the Latin Academy Dragons went on, get off to a good start against this Tech Boston team. Meanwhile, from the other side, for the Tech Boston Bears, you know, this has been their calling card for years now since Johnny Williams has gotten there is that their defense has been the place that's really been what they've been known for. But this year, their point guard, Elijah Clooney, very good scorer. And Coach Williams really likes how he's facilitating this year. Uh, very, he's our spotlight yeah. player for the Bears. Yeah, Clooney, very versatile player. Number three right there. Good length. Handles the ball well. On offense, you can do this with everything. Got a nice pull-up. Matter of fact, we, we had a chance to do their last game, and uh, it was a very tight game until he took over in that fourth quarter with a lot of uh, mid-range jump shots. And also, the best thing that I noticed, he kept his defense pretty consistent throughout the game. So uh, it, I think Martinez and Clooney, during, during different stretches of the game, are going to match up against each other. That will make it for really high competition. Yeah, no question. You see Clooney hitting these shots. He can also drive to the basket and finish around the rim, but another one of those ball handlers. Right. Both these teams rely on both of these players to be their main ball handlers throughout the game, and both coaches are very happy with the way these guys have developed into really good floor generals and really good distributors throughout the game as well. So you're going to see both Benny and Elijah both scoring, but also contributing the bas distributing the basketball for both these teams. Now for more on this game, we're going to go to our sideline reporter, Jesse Sheen, who's got an update for us. Jesse, what do you have? Pat, you talked about two of the talented guards coming into tonight's contest, and perhaps the biggest battle going on in the backcourt tonight is going to be the turnover battle. Last time these two teams faced off, the Tech Boston defense forced 28 turnovers en route to a blowout win over Latin, and Tech Boston coach Johnny Williams said they intend to keep up that same pressure tonight. 
I talked to Latin coach Dan Bucker during warm-ups, and he said that if his team wants to limit turnovers this time around, they can't play casual with the basketball. They need to step up to receive their passes, and they can't play loose when handling the ball. So we'll see if the Bears' defense can stay just as ferocious or if the Dragons' offense can make their uh, business a little less casual tonight. Pat, back to you. Thank you so much, Jesse. And yeah, when both these teams met the most recent time, the second time of the season, Tech Boston killed Latin Academy oh, yeah. with turnovers. They created a lot of turnovers. Latin Academy was kind of careless with the basketball. So you know the Dragons don't want to do or have a repeat of that to start the game tonight. Well, the, the, the thing, like you said, they played twice during the season. So they have a lot to remember from both That's good right. and bad. And these are the two veteran coaches who know exactly how to take advantage of, of any weakness on the other side. No question. It's two teams that know each other very well. This is the rubber match of their third game of the season. We'll see who can take down their Boston City League rival here tonight to make their way to the state semifinals. It's the Dragons taking on the Bears here at Madison Park High School in Roxbury. We'll be right back with the opening tap here on Game of the Week. Make sure you stick around. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Maybe it's just a little one. I could go back and change, it, back and change it all. I could go back. I would. But I can't. How prepared is your family if a hurricane shows up at your doorstep? Or a flood? Or a blizzard? You can't just turn away a natural disaster. That's why it's important to go to ready.gov slash plan now. It has the tools and tips you need to make an emergency plan with your family. So if disaster comes knocking, Let's go. you'll be ready to help keep your family safe. It's just a pizza. Yes. Make a plan today. I tell my son, I love you every single day. I love you. Oh. Now my dad has never said that to me. Not because he doesn't love me, but because culturally it wasn't comfortable for him. Now that he's a grandfather, he says, I love you to my son every time he sees him. My advice to all the fathers out there, forget the cultural restrictions. They grow up way too fast for you to waste even a single precious moment. something to feel okay to drive you're not okay to drive don't drive buzzed being prepared is a part of who you are but it's especially important in the case of a disaster be informed about possible emergencies in your area make a plan that covers where you go in an emergency build a kit with the things you need to survive there's no one more capable of planning for your situation than you Start your plan today. Go to ready.gov slash my plan. When I was in foster care, I never knew when I would have to move. So I always had my suitcase ready to go. Then one day I was adopted. My new parents opened their hearts and home to me. My parents cook my favorite breakfast for me every morning. My parents take me on trips I never thought I would go on. They gave me a home and an even better reason to use that suitcase. My parents aren't perfect, but they're perfect for me. Hey, Bobo, do trees tell each other stories? I'm sorry. I'm afraid I don't know that. Hey, why don't we go find out? Listen. Do clouds take naps? I couldn't tell you. Dad, do stars visit their friends? Look! Most of my family, they never graduated high school or even let alone go to college, so I'm trying to break that barrier. Every day after work, went straight to school, studied hard, and 
and it paid off. I could not have done it alone. I see the future is really bright for me. The high school diploma is just added to the confidence, and now I feel unstoppable. Find free adult education classes near you at finishyourdiploma.org. Hey world, I have a quick message. It's about safe driving. All right, let's go. Anytime you're driving, have the seatbelt buckle tight, both hands on the wheel and your phone out of sight. When not in your hand trying to text somebody back because if you do, your car might get smacked. The moral of the story, just put your phone down. The people on the road will stay safe and sound. Put your phone down, put your phone down. People on the road will stay safe and sound. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome back to Madison Park High School in Roxbury for the boys Division Three state quarterfinals as the Latin Academy Dragons are taking on the Tech Boston Bears, two of the biggest rivals in the Boston City League. We see this rivalry on the football field, too, and uh, it's just fun to see these two neighborhood rivals, too. They're, both these schools are in Dorchester. They're exactly, just down yeah. the street from each other, and these teams are very familiar with each other, and they're going to be fighting tooth and nail for a spot in the state semifinals. We're going to take a look at the starting lineups here for Latin Academy first. We talked about Benny Martinez at the point. Osman Aiden, the shooter at the shooting guard. Small forward Orlando Jacino, Wolgarin, and Shapiro, the two big fellas down low who have been leading this Dragons team all season long. Meanwhile, for the Tech Boston Bears, Elijah Clooney, who we talked about, Bogue, very good shooting guard. Brown, and then at power forward, more of a small forward, Yusuf Mbuko, who had a great game the other night, scored 23 points against Arlington Catholic. And then for Vensley Blanc, the big fella, he's going to be important tonight to go up against the size of Latin Academy. Well, I'll tell you, Pat, you're just having you go through those um, starting lineups, it was really interesting because they mirror each other so much in terms of the way they want to play and also uh, the, the way they're built. Uh, I have to say the Latin Academy relies a little more on their, their size up front with Rogerin and Shapiro, Shapiro being like 6'7". Uh, but you have a Boston, a Tech Boston team, not quite as big physically, but uh, rebounds the ball well on both ends. Interesting matchup because this, this deep into the tournament, it's, it's, it's very unusual to see two Boston teams matching up. But they've, like I said in the open, they've earned their way here. There's also, I don't want to jinx anything, but there's also a potential for the winner of this game right. to play the That's winner right. of New Mission Watertown. So it could be New Mission mm -hmm. against the winner of this game in the state semifinals. But first things first here, Latin Academy taking on Tech Boston. Dragons in the all black with the yellow uniforms. Tech Boston in the all white with the red and black trim. We are set to go here at Madison Park. Latin Academy controls the opening tap. Martinez tries to feed it into Shapiro, but it's thrown away by Kervensley Blanc. Mm -hmm. Buko fires up a three off the back iron. It goes Shapiro, comes away with a rebound for Latin Academy. Big crowds for both schools. Good to see a lot of the students turning out. Turnover there at the top of the key. It's Clooney off the steal. And cannot finish down the other end. Ball goes off of Shapiro. And it'll stay with Tech Boston. Yeah, when out Shapiro's forehead, he didn't realize it. I think he thought somebody hit him, but it was a ball. <laughs> Blanc trying for the hook shot over Shapiro and he gets it to go. Well, Garen tries for the banker and he gets fouled on his way to the rim. Yeah, it's going for the steal on that one for Tech Boston and gave Will Garen actually a, a wide open lane to the basket. Good shot there of head coach Dan Bunker of the Latin Academy Dragons. As well, Garen cannot hit the first. Dan Bunker mentioned to me that, you know, the, this this year, the way that the state tournament unfolded, they've only had to get two wins to get to the corner right. finals. This would normally be the sectional finals in the old format. This is the furthest that Latin Academy has gone in Dan Bunker's tenure in his 16 years as head coach of wow. Latin Academy. So the next step would be the furthest ever for Latin Academy under Bunker. Oh, wow. Another three wow, knocked down three. by Bogue. That was a decent three. 
We'll see Bears up five to zip here early on. Almost another turnover there by Latin Academy. Aiden, corner three, off. The up fake. Will Garen inside for the flop. Yeah, Will Garen wanted to make sure of that one. Got the first dunk of the game. Gets the Dragons on the board here with a minute and a half gone by in the first quarter. Cooney and Martinez. That'll be the matchup for most of the night. Blanc going baseline. Can't get it to go. Benny Martinez with the rebound. Quickly up to Aiden. He's got an open three. Can't get it to go. Well, Garen there for the putback. I'll tell you, pal. Well, Garen's been everywhere for these first couple of minutes. Fuko with a long two, and that's off the mark. Shapiro with the rebound for the Dragons. Latin Academy. Looking for their first lead of the game on this possession. Gets it stolen away by Michael DeLeon. Block back down the other end. Yeah, but there's our second dunk of the game. <laughs> you talk about trying to get your teammates fired up. Both teams are trying to do that right now. With this big crowd, too, sometimes it's a little bit easier to get that dunk home. Definitely. That one doesn't fall for Will Garen. Blanc comes away with the rebound for Tech Boston. Cooney fires up a three, nothing but nylon. And Coach Bunker doesn't yeah, like what he's seeing like that right now. I mean, that was a deep one. It was in front of our table, Pap. It was, it, it was deeper than you usually want to close out to. But That's right. I think Danny Bunker's going to tell him, listen, this is, this is for everything. you got to be able to, to win to move on. So even if they go deep out, you go out that far to close out on them. Blanc right now with four points, two rebounds, and... Two assists and three steals. In the timeout here, 5-19 left to go in the first quarter. Well, I think both coaches knew there'd be a lot of energy to stop this one because the crowd got here early, really. We're used to seeing people walk. They're still walking in, but sure. they, they, they have both sides of Madison Park's uh, stands opened up. But they know, like you said, both teams in Dorchester, uh, Friday night. Okay? That's right. So it, 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 it's set up to be a very, very fun atmosphere. As we mentioned, both these teams split the regular season series as Latin Academy won the first matchup all the way back in December. Then right. they had the pause in the season. And then Tech Boston really took it to Latin Academy, which was, I think, the first game for both teams after the pause. So, yeah, they have that familiarity, but at this point, since they, they've come this far in the state tournament, uh, there are things that they can remember and try to take advantage of, but they're just so similar in terms of size. Blanc comes away with the steal. Curvently good, good. Blanc. Good play by Martinez to stop what might have been a second dunk. The Martinez and Clooney are matching up. Off the inbounds pass, Blanc looking for the deep jumper, gets it to go. You know, jab step puts your pair a little off balance, give him a chance to get that shot up. Benny Martinez on the drive gets it stripped away. Fuko gets it stolen right back by Osman inside to Shapiro. Shapiro can't finish. Well, Garen and Shapiro both fought after the same rebound. Corner three from Buko. Gets his own rebound. Clooney. No good on that one. Michael Correa now in the ballgame. Comes down with it for Latin Academy. Correa trying to go coast to coast. Oh. Not better. Well, Garen can't finish. Boy, Carvensley Blanc has had a really nice first quarter here for Tech Boston. He had that rejection against Michael Correa. Fuko inside of De Leon. It's rejected by oh, Will Garen. Big block. Out to Correa. Finishes off the window. Nice finish. Left-handed. Defense, 
Bogue gets it stripped Another away steal by, by Rogerin. Martinez gets it poked away by Clooney. Elijah, he's going to get two free throws. Yeah, I'm really surprised we have this many turnovers back and forth because usually both teams take care of the ball a little better. But I really think the atmosphere is, is sort of starting to get to them in the beginning of this game. Nice sequence with Rogerin, though, for the Latin Academy, getting a couple of steals, getting a, a put back. Yeah, Latin Academy, they, things could have gone, could have unfolded even quicker than they did yeah, I mean, in it's, that it's, bucket. But again, the the, the energy is, is really amazing. But again, it, it's all set up. They, they have a couple of days in between games. Both teams are healthy. Just a so far, Czech boss has just done a, bit, a little bit of job in the half-court defense. Well, Garen's going to try for a three. Can't get it to go. Shapiro inside, cut the hoop in the harm for Brendan Shapiro. See, Shapiro, six, well, he's between 6'7 and 6'8. Obviously, for the offensive rebounding for, for Latin Academy, that'll be a major advantage if he can do what he just did. Aljun Brown in now for Jamal Pogue. Brown was key to the win against Arlington Catholic as... Coach Williams put him on Arlington Catholic's best score. Him and Raphael Kleber really did a nice job on uh, Svensson, who was a very good score for the Arlington Catholic Cougars a couple days ago. De Leon on the floater can't get it to go. Shapiro with another rebound from Latin Academy. That's going to be a turnover. Here comes Blanc down the other end. Nice Gets the layup to go. I'll tell you, Blanc, he has, he has a lot of energy, but he's really playing under control. Well, Garen gets it stolen away by Clooney. Clooney, top of the key, can't hit the jumper. Heck of a rebound inside for Brown to keep it alive. Brown stepping on the line, can't knock down the two. Benny Martinez pulls it down for the Dragons. Martinez. <laughs> Going all the way in, couldn't hit the layup, but he's going to get two from the charity strike. Yeah, I think that's a case where Benny feels like he's got to get something going for his team. Down five, two minutes to go here in the first quarter. Hit Boston Wells on number 10. Curtis Lee Monk, his first, third on the team. The board, Benny Martinez. Like in, the games, in the previous games we've done at the Latin Academy, I mean, Benny has been the spark plug when they've gone on their right. offensive runs. So I'm, I'm sure Coach Bunker is expecting the same performance from him tonight. Although he has a tough, he has a really tough defensive assignment trying to stay with Clooney. Martinez knocks down the first free throw, his first point of the game. Two for two from the strike with Martinez. He cuts it down to three here with two minutes left to go in the first quarter. Clooney, corner three for Tech Boston. He rattles off another one. Like a set shot because he takes his time on it, has a really high arch. He's got that rainbow exactly, jump yeah. shot. Back to a six point lead for the Bears. Martinez, fancy finish, doesn't fall for him. Up and under, good, good drive by Benny. Block now with five rebounds for the Tech Boston Bears. De Leon on the runner. Correa comes down with it for Latin Academy. Coming up on a minute left to go in the first quarter. Correa for three. Can't get it to go. Shapiro on the putback. Oh, yeah. That's the kind of work Shapiro has to do. Now, remember, the last two times we had them with us, Shapiro got an early foul trouble. It's not the case today, which is a major advantage for Latin Academy. Oh, five points and five rebounds already. And we got a foul in the corner as Clooney is trying to go baseline. Right 
Orlando Giacchino committed that foul. He's going to head to the bench as a couple of subs back in for Latin Academy. Yeah, Correa coming in. Correa is in. Eight. I'm sorry, that was Ronel Ortega who was in before for Latin Academy as Buco can't knock down the jumper. Benny Martinez. Corner three from Aiden, and he can't get it to go. Clooney rips it down for the Bears. Elijah oh. Clooney going coast to coast, and he was rejected inside by Aiden. Here comes Benny Martinez. Lays it down to Aiden, and it's blocked by Tech Boston. Clooney back down the other end. Oh, Finishes. Nice Count the basket in I'll one for Elijah Clooney. Yeah, he really, Clooney really set up Shapiro on that one. A little bit of a hesitation to get the ball to the backboard. We talked about adrenaline and, and emotion and adrenaline usually equals what we're seeing right now. Clooney cannot complete the three-point play. It's a, again a six-point lead for Tech Boston. Five seconds left to go in the quarter. Benny Martinez. And that's going to go back to Tech Boston with 0. .7 seconds left to go here in the opening frame. And that is going to do it for the first quarter here at the boys' Division Three state quarterfinals at Madison Park High School. It's the Tech Boston Bears on top of the Latin Academy Dragons, 1913. We're going to head to break when we come back. We'll have the second quarter here on Game of the Week, right after these messages. Most of my family, they never graduated high school or even let alone go to college, so I'm trying to break that barrier. Every day after work, went straight to school, studied hard, and, and it paid off. I could not have done it alone. I see the future is really bright for me. The high school diploma is just added to the confidence, and now I feel unstoppable. Find free adult education classes near you at finishyourdiploma.org. Welcome back to Madison Park High School in Roxbury for the Boys Division Three State Quarterfinals. Tech Boston Bears lead the Latin Academy Dragons 19-13. Folks, if you want to follow us on social media, first you can go to our Facebook page. Go to facebook.com slash game of the week Boston. We got all the updates on what games we're going to be covering, different links to the games that we go live with and links to the games that we've covered in the past. So make sure you check us out. You like us on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter at Boston City TV. And if you want to tweet at us, use the hashtag Boston G-O-W. We tweet out all the links to the games as well and different videos from the games we've covered in the past also. So make sure you follow us on both those social media pages. Coming back out for the second quarter. Six-point lead here for Tech Boston. They will start off quarter number two with the basketball. Up by six. Yeah, Tech Boston's offense so far has been a little smoother in the half-court set. Brown pulls up for an elbow jumper. Can't get it to go. As that was Ortega with the rebound. Ortega, corner three. Can't get it to fall. Clooney with another rebound for the Bears. Clooney, straight to the bucket. And he loves that left side. Duck down pass inside to Wolgarin for two. Yeah. High low. You put either, well, that time Shapiro at the foul line. Nice, simple pass to Wolgarin to finish. Buko still can't get that first field goal. Martinez. Well, nice Garen off the Good fake. Break. Finishes Good. off the glass. He faked the pass to the deep corner for the three. That's it. A little bit over aggressive that time by Tech Boston. Cates. Cuts the Bears down, lead down to four as Blanc knocks down the three. He did that in the first quarter. Little jab step and he just throws it, Shapiro back a half a step. It's all he needs to get that shot off. Man, when Kervensley's on, he is really a force for this Tech Boston team. Martinez can't get that shot to go. 
Clooney, another rainbow three. That one short rim. De Leon. Block, nice oh, pass inside pass to Brown, to but it's swatted away by Shapiro. Uh, Shapiro's having a really good first half. Martinez looking for an opening, pulls up, can't get the jumper to go. Block with the rebound for Tech Boston. Pace slowing down a little bit. It had to because they, they were flying the first quarter. No question. Block. Another step back jumper. Couldn't get that one to fall. Buko for the rebound. Blocked by Wolgarin. Buko this time gets his first field goal. He's one of those scorers too. He gets one. He might score he, in bunches. Can, exactly. That they, they don't come one at a time with him. Shapiro tries inside for Wolgarin, and they're going to call a foul on Yusuf Buko. Yeah, but so far in this game, Pat, Blanc has been the story offensively for Czech Boston. I mean, we, we know he can score, he can rebound, but uh, he's getting second chances. He's defending very well, a lot of energy. Hit the two deep threes with Shapiro not able to come all the way out to him. Substitution for Tech Boston, Kurt Brooks. Right, ben now McClung. in for the Bears. Yeah, Blanc's getting a break now. This, this, will be, this could be an important couple of minutes while he's out of the game. Chance for Latin Academy to get back in it. Jules Campbell also in for Tech Boston. Ortega feeding it inside to Wogarin. Osasu. We got to go up. Yeah. Gets rejected inside. Orlando Jacino tries inside. A lot of contact, no whistle. Here comes Buko. Buko inside to Clooney. Yeah. Yeah, they, 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 Latin Academy's a timeout. I, mean, they, I guess Shapiro must have been winded because they took him out that last sequence, and you could tell on both ends there was, there was no offensive rebound possibility. Then on this end, there was no protection for the basket. So we got an 11-point game right now. Latin Academy and Danny Bunker uh, got, got to try to figure something out. They, they, on offense, they actually had the high-low a couple of times. Right. Uh, where Jaron scored once, and the other time it was just a good defensive play. But... It's just tough to get your kids to calm down and slow the pace down when you, they, they look up and they're down 11 in the, in the first half. And so that's sort of the challenge to try to control their emotions, but at the same time, you know, let's run what we know works for us. First two games of the tournament, too, for Latin Academy. They actually had home games, both games at Latin that's Academy's right. Right. gym. Now they're here at Madison Park. And, you know, when you're a city league team and you don't play here all the time, this is where you have, like, the city playoffs, exactly. the city championship. So anytime you come into this gym, too, it's just a different feeling, yeah. i got to think. Most definitely. Teams. It's, it's like you said, it's, it's about the biggest high school gym in, in the city. Yeah. And we're used to having decent crowds sure. it's during the school vacation for the city championship. This is even bigger than that. Okay, this, this is a much bigger crowd than we had for the city championships. So the whole atmosphere changes. Not to say it, it has to affect your game, but in some cases it can actually elevate your emotions. You go right back to Shapiro after the timeout. Yeah, he had to come back in. He's blocked inside. That one was by Buko. Here comes Clooney. Buko gets it knocked away. Scramble for the loose ball, and we got a foul. It's going to be on Tech Boston. Yeah. Aljun Brown. Aljun Brown. Aljun Brown yeah, Brown dove in foul. and actually took the legs out from one of the uh, Latin Academy kids. So first personal foul for Brown, fifth team foul for Tech Boston. Nobody in foul trouble just yet for either team. Benny Martinez off the crossover. Can't Ooh. get it to go. That'll be a hell of a ball. That's just, that's just bad luck on that shot. Benny did everything he needed to. He actually crossed over to get the edge on Clooney, but the ball just rolled off. 11-point lead for Tech Boston here midway through the second quarter. As we mentioned, heading into that timeout, it was a 7-0 run for the Bears. Well, we know both teams can get points in bunches. So now it's, it's time for Latin Academy to try to respond. Well, Garrett. The push from behind, yeah. 
That's the sixth. Yeah. See, for Atlanta Academy, okay, Aiden has not hit a three yet. They used to having that as part of their arsenal. That's sure. a regular part of what they of what they, they expect to get. So when he comes back from the game, I'm sure that they're still going to set him up again in either one of the baseline corners. So Al June Brown whistle for his second foul. Six-team foul on Tech Boston. Correa tries to finish off the window. And that's going to be a foul yeah, on Shapiro. A push on Shapiro, yeah. Second foul on Brennan Shapiro. Yeah, it was a little bit of a tricky bounce that came off the rim, so Shapiro got caught. A little push off. Well, we opened the game talking about the Clooney and Martinez matchup. So far, Clooney has the edge scoring and setting up his teammates. Brooks looking inside to Campbell. They try to swing it out to Buco. Gets stolen cool. away by Benny Martinez. Benny with his eyes on the rim. Can't get that finish Again, to go. Good defense by Mbuko. Block back to Brooks. Orlando Giacino. Can't get the three to go down. Oh, Garen <laughs> tried to flush it home. Clooney. Can't get it. Campbell. Can't get the put back. Both these teams stuck on 28 to 17 for the last minute and a half or so. Martinez can't get another one to, to go here in the first half. Benny can't buy a he bucket. He can't buy, but he's, he's playing it right. He's going hard to the basket. That's right. Another, another steal, steal by Latin from, Academy. Yeah, Martinez off the steal. Got an open look for three. Short with that one. And we got another jump yeah, ball yeah, between. I we'll, right. I think what we're seeing here is now Latin Academy plays and start to aim the ball. And it's not, when you're aiming it, you just, it's not your regular motion. A lot of times the, shot, the shots will come up short. Shapiro's going to take another break, which makes sense. I think he has two fouls. Right. So give him a break. You don't want to have a tied foul in these last two minutes of the half. Aiden and Ortega back in for Latin Academy. So the Dragons going a little small here with about 2.20 left to go in the second quarter. Down by 11 to Tech Boston. Yeah, in a 3-2 zone now. Blanc, good pass inside to Buka. Yeah, this, the weak side lost, uh, lost touch. Aiden, again can't get the three to go. Buko traveled, yeah. fell down as he was fighting for the yeah. rebound with both his teammates. Yeah. Substitution for Tech Boston coming in for the Bears was Raphael Lieber. Yeah. Raphael had a good game off the bench for the Bears against Arlington Catholic. Hit a couple of big threes and played good defense. Excellent game. Yeah, he, he did. He, he played straight man on the uh, score of Svensson for uh, Arlington Catholic. Well, Garen trying for a three. Nobody can hit from three so far here for Latin Academy. Deep three from De Leon. Well, Garen brings it down with 140 left to go in the first half. Ortega going baseline. Martinez almost lost it. Then does get it poked away. De Leon finishes the layup. Ortega swings it to Aiden. There you go. There he knocks down a three. Had, had to have one of those before halftime, Pat. Big shot, very big shot for Latin Academy. Still 12 point game. So Jacino comes back for Latin Academy.
Buko can't get that one to fall. Tries to get his own rebound and saves it to him. himself. It's a travel, yeah. Well, like you said, small lineup for Latin Academy. You see if they're going to set up Aiden again in one of the deep baseline corners. He was able to make his last shot. Well, Clooney, good job to close out on Aiden. Casino to the basket. He's going to get two from the strike. Yeah, he was he was being ridden defensively, so he'll get. Let's we'll see if he. Uh, yeah, they'll get two shots. Rafael Lieber commits the foul, his first personal foul. Cino hits the first. Orlando gets a second to go, cuts the Tech Boston lead down to 10, 25 seconds left to go in the first half. Cleaver gets it knocked away. It's going to be a kickball yeah. on Mulgarin. Yeah, it was a good job by Mulgarin, but it ball did it hit his foot. 14 seconds left before halftime. Clooney, top of the key, around the rim and out. Blanc, now it's De Leon for the putback. Casino can't even get it off in time. So, after the first half here from Madison Park High School, it's Tech Boston on top of Latin Academy, 34-22. And so far, the pace has really been controlled by Tech Boston. They've really gotten up and down the way they've wanted to. No doubt about that. We talked about Clooney in the open. He's done an excellent job controlling the offense for his Tech Boston teammates. He's setting them up really well, hitting his own shots. And so Tech Boston, like I said, of the two teams, even though they're somewhat similar, of the two teams for that first half, Tech Boston clearly was more under control, especially in the half-court offense. I mean, Clooney was, he, he was pretty dominant. That's right. And as soon as one of the big guys went out, Clooney went straight to the rim, too. Right, to exactly, that, yeah. See yeah, some yeah. easier opportunities. So I think that, and there was a, just a lot of bad luck shooting for uh, Latin Academy. They had so many that ro rolled around the rim and out. So and we'll That's see right. how the second half goes. Our sideline reporter Jesse Sheehan is with the head coach of Latin Academy, Dan Bunker. Jesse, take it away. I'm now here with Boston Latin coach Dan Bunker. Coach, a tough first half. Your thoughts? Uh, we just didn't take care of the ball. There, We had a lot of live turnovers. Um, they beat us to a lot of 50-50 balls. They play with more energy. we got to come out in the second half and be um, take care of it and, uh, and, and don't get out on their shooters too and certainly in terms of the outside shot a lot of shots falling for them a lot of shots not falling for you guys how do you adjust um i we're a good shooting team i think we're getting okay looks um when we get looks the problem is getting looks we've got a lot of uh possessions where we didn't get a shot off coach before this game you talked to me about how this is going to come down to who wants it more what does the team need to do to dig deep and find that next level of wanting it more for the second half um, we just like that last possession there where um, they fought they they got the the rebound uh, they were strong with the re stronger than the rebound with two of our guys um, we got to get those um, so we'll, we'll discuss that a half and hopefully we'll, we'll come out with uh, more energy here in the, in the second half coach thank you so much right, Pat back to you thanks very much Jesse and uh, coach bunker even talked about that with us earlier in the week about how the empty possessions you know mm -hmm. getting a turnover before you even get a shot up because one thing he thinks they're a good shooting team but also you have those two big guys down low if you get a shot up there's an opportunity for an right. offensive rebound with the two bigs excellent and let what Danny just said live turnovers are the worst thing in the world for his right. kind of team against Tech Boston because they Tech Boston lives off that they, they look for deflections right. uh, offensive rebounds or in the middle of the floor live turnovers turn into layups for Tech Boston that's what we saw in the first half that's how they stretched out to a 12-point lead yeah no question we'll see what kind of halftime adjustments both these teams can make as Tech Boston carries a 12-point lead into the half folks we're gonna head to break when we come back we'll have our halftime stats before we get ready for the third quarter here on game of the week from Madison Park High School in Roxbury right after these messages don't go away
When I never graduated from high school, I realized I wanted to go back to school because I didn't want to work these back-breaking jobs the rest of my life. With the help of my father and having my son, that was all the motivation that I needed to come back to school. I felt accomplished, it made me feel that I could take on whatever challenges life throws at you. Find free adult education classes near you at finishyourdiploma.org. Honey, what I think you need is a socket wrench. I played JV basketball. I'm sorry. I don't think it looks right. This is good, I, and it's all is good, it, baby. Is it really all good? If you love me enough to routinely test your handyman skills, not to mention the strength of your marriage, then of course you'll visit nhtsa.gov slash the right seat to make sure I'm in the right car seat. I'm going to call my dad. One in three adults has pre-diabetes. That means it could be you, your favorite brother, your other brother, yes. you, your football buddy, your football buddy, you, your plumber, breathe right into your foot, your plumber's masseuse, yes. you, your dog walker, your cat jogger. With early diagnosis, pre-diabetes can be reversed. Take the risk test at doihaveprediabetes.org. When I was 10, my mom got deported. We had a difficult time, and I feel that's why I didn't get to finish school. My husband is really supportive in a way that he pushed me to go back to school. She wants to have a career so her kids can look up to her. They both keep me motivated to go to school, and they see that if I do it, like they can do it too, you know? I feel that everything's possible. Find free adult education classes near you at finishyourdiploma.org. Each year, there are more than a dozen significant tropical and winter storms that threaten the East Coast. So chances are there will be more hurricanes and blizzards near here again. And between school, sports, and social lives, chances are you won't be with your kids when it happens. Will they know what to do? Ready.gov slash kids has all the educational tools and information to make the conversation easy. When the time comes, chances are they'll feel prepared, not scared. So talk with your family today. All right, Monroe. You ready? Monroe. Here we go. The butterfly. Ready? I am what hunger looks like in America. I am an eight-year-old girl who's not excited for the last day of school. Because this may be the last time I'll have lunch. Till September. I am a single father of two who works three part-time jobs. And that's still not enough to put food on the table. I was created by artificial intelligence from faces of the one in eight Americans who struggle with hunger. Feeding America, 200 food banks strong. Imagine being fired because of who you love. Imagine being denied medical treatment because of who you marry. Imagine being evicted because of who you are. Millions of Americans don't have to imagine this. They have to live it. Because in 30 states, it's legal to discriminate against LGBT people. Jordan knows he shouldn't eat this entire bowl of nachos, but tonight he's earned that right. Because a few hours ago in the middle of happy hour, he recognized a sign. Not from the gods or a bolt of lightning, but from a double heart, a kissy face, and a fourth ha in ha ha ha. 
That's when Jordan knew he was buzzed. So when it was time to go, he got a ride home instead of driving. Be a legend like Jordan. Recognize your buzzed warning signs and get a ride home. Buzz driving is drunk driving. Hey world, I have a quick message. It's about safe driving. All right, let's go. Anytime you're driving, have the seatbelt buckle tight. Both hands on the wheel and your phone out of sight. We're not in your hand trying to text somebody back. Because if you do, your car might get smacked. The moral of the story, just put your phone down. The people on the road will stay safe and sound. Put your phone down, put your phone down. People on the road will stay safe and sound. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome back to Madison Park High School in Roxbury for the Boys Division III State Quarterfinal between the Tech Boston Bears and Latin Academy Dragons. Latin Academy leads Tech Boston, or excuse me, Tech, Tech Boston, Boston yeah. leads Latin Academy. <laughs> Strike that, reverse it. <clears throat> Bears on top of the Dragons, 34-22, and we're going to take a look at the halftime stats here from Madison Park High. And first up is going to be the Latin Academy Dragons. <clears throat> Yeah, for Latin Academy, a lot of their shots were in and out. Well, Jiren had eight points, most of it inside. Shapiro with five points. Rebound, Shapiro, six, Martinez, four. Martinez with only two assists. That just shows you how much the Latin Academy often struggled, especially in the, in, in the half-foot set. Let's take a look at the Tech Boston halftime stats. Yeah, Tech Boston was much more comfortable with what they wanted to do. Clooney from the backcourt. The big 12 points. LeBlanc with a couple of three-pointers. Also had 11 points. Meanwhile, rebounds. LeBlanc with six. He had Mabuko with five assists. LeBlanc Blanc was everywhere, especially in the first quarter. Yes. He was the difference to help give them this lead. No question. Kervensley with a really good first half there for the Tech Boston Bears. And we knew that he needed to be a featured player for this Tech Boston he team tonight. He's really the only size that they have on this team. He's going up against Wolgarin and Shapiro inside. So you knew he had to be a significant contributor for the Bears tonight. I, I think you're right. I think that's the coaching message that John Williams gave him. And he, and he, he definitely, definitely pulled off. Because Clooney, Clooney's been consistent throughout, but you're right, Blanc, I, I can't, you can't say it's unexpected, but that's exactly what he needs to do, and on top of that, he's still out of foul trouble. Meanwhile, on the other side for Latin Academy, I mean, they only hit one three in that first half, it was that's eight at the them. end of the second that's quarter. Yeah, we, as, as often as we've seen them, they always go through these little mini runs, hitting two or three three-pointers in a row. It never happened in the first half. Let's not forget, we just said that these two teams played each other twice. This is the second time when Latin, when Latin Academy lost, they lost by 25 points. So That's right. this Tech Boston team, with their pace and their shooting, uh, can, can turn a game into a route pretty easily. Coach Bunker mentioned before that second meeting where Tech Boston really took it to Latin Academy, Benny Martinez actually sprained his ankle about a week before. He played in the game, but was it still a little himself. bit hobbled. Oh, it wasn't himself, yeah. And tonight he's just having a tough time having any of the shots fall. They try to get it into Wolgarin. It was knocked away by Buko. And Yusuf says otherwise. The high low with the two big men from Latin Academy has to be part of their offense. Aiden for three, buries that one. A welcome sight for this Dragon team. Well, the opposite of the first half, it took him the whole first half to make one down. First possession, the second half he makes one. A little half-court pressure here for Latin Academy. Eight points now for Aiden. De Leon looking for an opening, tries to find Buko. Bogue top of the key, buries the jumper. Oh, nice pull up by Bogue. Again, see, that, that, there was a lot of patience there. Clooney had a chance for a shot in the baseline, didn't take it, found his teammate. That extra pass got them that nice 10 foot shot. Trying to that's beat a, it inside. That's a tough pass. Garen. And Bogue comes away with it, yeah. and they're going to the call ball, a jump ball. ball yeah. That's a tough pass on that angle for uh, Latin. I mean, they, they, the idea is there. They want to get to either with Jiren or to Shapiro, but you got to come to the wing to make, make that a good pass. The, the Tech Boston defenders are just too quick to let that get through. 
Ortega back in for the Dragons as Orlando Justino heads to the bench. Now full court pressure by Latin Academy. Blanc off the oh, up oh, fake. Nice Kervensley. Uh, yeah, he's, he's having a game. Extends the Bears' lead back to 13. Benny Martinez nice pass, to Shapiro. Nice that time, Benny, because he was he, with a quick dribble, he drew two defenders, gave his teammate an easy layup. Clooney reverse layup. Oh. Pretty move by Elijah Clooney. Yeah, you can't give him baseline like that. He's, he's there with his long arms. He, he can be acrobatic in the air. Back to a 13-point lead for Tech Boston. Martinez again can't knock down the jumper. De Leon. Yeah, it's too bad. He, I mean, he, he realized he was a little too far out to shoot that three. One of the few mistakes on offense we've seen from uh, Tech Boston so far. 5.55 left to go here in the third quarter. <laughs> Gotta get Rogerin down low. Martinez. Oh. Right idea, but couldn't hit. Yeah, a little too Shapiro. much on that one. I mean, Shapiro was there, but yeah, Benny, Benny's still, she's still trying to get out of his head all the shots he's missed. So he has a little bit, a little too much on that on that pass. De Leon off the up fake. Buko corner three. Yusuf can't get it to go. Oh, Dale oh. with a tap in. That's what Coach Bunker was talking about at halftime. Ortega. Benny Martinez guys for the rebound, and he gets fouled. Yeah, they, Bunker was saying that his team is just not as aggressive getting those loose balls. Perfect case of it. You see an offensive tip back between two Dragon defenders. Benny Martinez. Has two shots. Martinez cannot hit the first. Knocks down the second. Benny now three for six from the free throw line. Okay, Latin Academy's gone back to that, that zone. Actually, it's a one, it's a box and one. Clooney with a great move to the basket yeah. once again. 16-point lead for the Bears. Yeah. Clooney also with 16. Aiden for three. That one way off the mark. O'Garen with the rebound. O'Garen gets swatted away by Kervensley Blanc. Third block of the night for Kervensley Blanc. Okay, it's, it's, it's been tough in there all night for that academy. Jusino back in for the Dragons. O'Garen for three. Osasu can't hit that one. Ortega tries to feed it inside, stolen away by De Leon. Buko gets it knocked away by Aiden. It's going to stay with the Bears. A good hustle by Aiden to take away that fast break layup. Still staring at a 16 point hole, though, for Latin Academy. Now they're trying. Like a, it's like a 2-3, but really they have they have Martinez covering Clooney. Beat it inside to Buko. Yusuf can't put it home. Wolgarin there for the rebound. They call a travel on Wolgarin. He got hooked up with uh, yeah, it was odd. Buko. Was a foul call. 
I think the referee was shielded from, from the arm interaction there. Boston basketball. Buko. And then they whistle Jacino with a foul. Yeah, it's a, go to a little, desper not little, happy. little desperation from Latin Academy right now being down 16. And Buko again getting fouled inside. He's going to get two free throws. Well, Garen whistle for the personal. Just the first personal foul Osasu for Osasa Wolgarin. His first. Yeah, Wolgarin, I mean, Wolgarin's going to be in the, the whole time. He's, he's just has to anchor that the back line of the, that zone. Shapiro coming back in for Latin Academy. Wolgarin going to take a seat. Yeah. Yusuf Buko right now with just five points. He really hasn't gotten his shooting stroke down tonight. He's had some unlucky breaks as well. And also, I think it just shows the Tech Boston team, whoever's hot will get the ball. Buko now is six for the Bears. 18-point lead for Tech Boston. Aiden launches another three. Shapiro for the putback, swatted away by Blanc. Bogue up to Buko. Buko hits the layup. Look at Orlando Jacino who gets the lefty land to go. Well, team straight baskets here with just over three minutes left to go in the third quarter. Back to an 18 point lead for Tech Boston. Buko hits another jumper. Just when we said he was having a tough shooting night, he's starting to heat up. He was either thinking or he heard us. One of the two. <laughs> Martinez gets fouled little, on the floor. Yeah, little push on that. I think that was Clooney that time. Ted Boston ball is on number three. Elijah Clooney is second, second on the team. Elijah Clooney with the personal foul there. Second team foul for Tech Boston. Aiden thought about a three off the up fake. Gets swarmed by the Bears. Oh, yeah. Bone coming away with the rebound. Uh, excuse me, the steal. Tech Boston can't finish off the glass there from Clooney. Here comes Benny Martinez. Yeah. Right now, Tech Boston defensively just wants to keep Benny Martinez out of the lane because he's the one trying to set up any kind of offense for the Latin Academy. Osman Aiden heads to the bench. Jamal Bogue just committed his third foul. He's really the only player in foul trouble as well. Garen scores over Block, over Buko, excuse me. Coming up on two minutes left to go here in the third quarter. 18-point lead oh, for nice Tech Boston. Steal, well, Over to Benny Aliyup. Oh. And Talk about everything going wrong, Pat. I mean, that, that, should, that should have been a layup. Nice steal by Rogarin in the open court. And just couldn't convert on a live turnover. De Leon. Yeah, good job swinging the ball. Clooney looking for an opening. Gets it poked away by Correa. Benny Martinez comes up with it. Ortega back to Bulgarin. Banks okay. it home for Latin Academy. Latin Academy keeps switching up their zones. Now they got Wilgarin up top. 
to take away any straightaway jump shots. That's a travel there. But, I mean, they're, 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 they're trying everything. It's just that their offense has not been at a, at a fast enough pace to cut into this, this uh, deficit. Yeah, Dan Bunker has tried a few different combinations oh, yeah. he's, with, he's, with lineups, he's too. He's pulled out a bunch of stuff. He had a small lineup, with shooters. Gotta go inside. Gotta go inside. There you go. The feed Shapiro. Yeah. And he swatted out of bounds right there by yeah, two Blanc guys once came again. Over. Yeah, Buco that? and Blanc. Yeah, that was Blanc again? Wow. He's... Five blocks now for Kervensley Blanc here late in the third quarter. Say, offense in the first half, defense here in the second half. Inside to Wolgarin, who finishes yeah. over the top. Nice little jump hook. Latin Academy cuts it down to 14 with that 6-0 run. 45 seconds left to go here in the third. Clooney gets nice blocked block by, by Benny by Martinez. Martinez. Martinez now on the break. Gets it stripped away by Blanc. Oh, good play by Blanc. Good hands. Call an offensive foul, I believe, on Michael Correa. Trying to set a pick. Less than 30 seconds left to go here in the quarter. No shot clock. Fourteen point lead here for Tech Boston. Last thing the Bears want is a turnover and another basket for Latin Academy here late in the quarter. They're going to work for the final shot. Fuko, step back jumper. Can't get it to go. Kervensley Blanc gets stuffed oh, by nice Correa, block. but Brown's there for the putback. Again, more of the same, Pat. You just had better energy from Czech Boston. Bears with a 16-point lead, 52-36 over the Latin Academy Dragons. We're going to head to break. When we come back, we'll have the fourth quarter here of the boys' Division Three state quarterfinals from Madison Park High School in Roxbury right after these words. Make sure you stick around. Most of my family, they never graduated high school or even let alone go to college, so I'm trying to break that barrier. Every day after work, went straight to school, studied hard, and, and it paid off. I could not have done it alone. I see the future is really bright for me. The high school diploma is just added to the confidence and now I feel unstoppable. Find free adult education classes near you at finishyourdiploma.org. Welcome back to Madison Park High School in Roxbury for the boys division three state quarterfinal. It's the Tech Boston Bears on top of the Latin Academy Dragons, 52 to 36. Before we get going here in the fourth quarter, folks, you can follow us on social media. You can go to our Facebook page. Go to facebook.com slash game of the week boss. have got a lot of good stuff up on that site. Make sure you like us there. You can also follow us on Twitter at Boston City TV. And if you want to tweet at us, use the hashtag Boston G O W. So Latin Academy will start off the fourth quarter with the basketball down by 16 with a spot in the state semifinals on the line here tonight. Nice feed inside to Correa. Yeah, good, good baseline cut by Correa to get himself open. Good patience by Tech Boston. Another block inside by Benny Martinez. Yeah, Benny's trying defensively to disrupt. What Clooney wants to do. That's the second time they block Clooney. And they're going to whistle a foul on Latin Academy. It looked like 
Fuko had just slipped, but they are gonna whistle. I think Mulgarin with the reach in. Yeah, it, it just it just seems that on the, on a night when everything else is going wrong for you, even these little things sure. start to mount up. Yeah, it did look like when he spun, he just lost his balance. Off the inbound pass, trying to get Fuko inside. He's blocked by Shapiro. That's and it's going to be an foul, offensive yeah. foul on Tech Boston. Yeah, yeah and Buko upset that he missed what he thought was a layup. Came back with a sort of frustration foul. Dragons currently on an 8-2 to two run. They need to extend that run in order to climb back into this one. Correa wow. inside. Gets it knocked away by Buko. Here comes Clooney. Gets nice it poked steal. away by Martinez. Benny Martinez to the basket. Finally, yeah, finally gets the ball falls down, and right? the foul. What a play by Benny Martinez. That was all hustle. I started on defense. Went strong to the basket. Knew he got hit, so he banked it. And finally got a, ro <laughs> the r a friendly rim. It's, it's been tough for him all night. That's actually Benny's first field goal of the game. Here with 6.56 left to go in the first quarter. He worked for every piece oh, of it. Oh, definitely. Bogue back in for the, the Tech Boston Bears, along with Michael DeLeon. And Benny cannot complete the three-point play. 12-point lead here for Tech Boston. Benny under 50% at the free throw line so far. De Leon. Looking inside to Blanc. Now it's Clooney looking to make something happen. Clooney deep three. Off the front rim, Shapiro comes away with the rebound. Quickly up to Correa. Correa to the basket. He gets fouled inside the paint. They're going to whistle Elijah Clooney with the bump. Well, I tell you, Pat, it's taken a while for Danny Bunker to get his team to start playing a little more physical. They're definitely doing it right now. It's going to be an inbound play. That was the sixth team foul on Tech Boston. Ortega on the drive. Can't get it to go. De Leon comes up with it for Tech Boston. Bears slowing it down momentarily here with six minutes left to go in the fourth quarter. Buko for three. Yusuf. Connected from long distance. Stretches their lead back to 15. Martinez. Mulgarin. Osasu squeezes it home. Latin Academy calls a timeout here. 5.33 left to go in the fourth. 13 point lead for the Tech Boston Bears. Yeah, and whenever. Latin Academy tries to make a run. Tech Boston gets a big shot. That three was huge by Mbuko. I mean, like you had mentioned earlier, he's not having as good a scoring game as he's done early in the early rounds of the state tournament, but it doesn't matter. His teammates have, uh, are coming through, and he's doing some other things defensively. He had four points at halftime. He's up to 13 now for the Tech Boston Bears. They now lead by 13 here with 5.33 left to go in the fourth quarter. Dragons still hanging around, but like you mentioned, haven't been able to go on that really extended run to really cut into this lead. And the real problem now is you can't just throw out, you put your shooters out there because you really need defense first. You've got to get right. some stops. Yeah, hopefully you get some turnovers. They've got, Latin Academy's got a couple of turnovers, but haven't been able to convert all of them. Meanwhile, you talk about, okay, well, what about Aiden? Well, he's a shooter, but... In the, in the type of pressing defense they're trying now, 
that's not one of the strengths. So you got to go with, with, with the guys who are going to try to get you some extra possessions. Aiden also has not had a ton of luck from three tonight. He's hit two, but he's taken yeah, it's, it's, several more as Martinez whistle for the reach in. But again, that's that's the situation Latin Academy is in right now, being down 13. Because they, John Williams will have his Tech Boston team just pull it out each possession. Who go? For Vensley Blanc, fade away. Can't get that one to fall for him. Ortega with the rebound for Latin Academy. Correa inside to Shapiro. Nice pass by Correa. Good, strong baseline drive. Looking like he was going to shoot it. Correa almost with the steal, but Buko hangs on to it. Shapiro trying for the steal. He's whistling for the foul. Yeah, Danny won the 10 second call on that one badly. He really was yelling for the 10 second call. Third personal foul for Shapiro, sixth team foul for Latin Academy. Next foul on either side puts the other team in the bonus. Goes out of bounds, no call. That's gonna go back to Latin That's Academy. Yeah, Bolg. Bolg actually. Now the referee's gonna talk about it. One ref thinks that there was, I believe, an offensive foul, one saying defensive foul, one saying out of bounds. So they're gonna have to figure yeah, this Bolg out. Bolg went in the air, which is unusual for him, and just fired a pass down to the baseline. Yeah, but, yeah. The baseline official actually called it. Oh, there is a foul. So they actually did call a foul on Rennell Ortega. So they called a blocking foul on Ortega. Bogue will now be at the free throw line shooting a one-on-one. He has one and one for the Bears. Bogue cannot hit the first. Martinez looking to go baseline. Gets it stolen away by De Leon. It's thrown off of Benny Martinez. Yeah, Danny Bunk is really working the officials now. I mean. Clooney looking to go baseline. Fuko trying for the same path. He gets fouled by Wolgarin inside. Again, like I said earlier, once Tech Boston gets the word to slow it down, wait till we get the shot that we want. It will keep control of this game, and, and this, that's what's happening. I mean, it, it, even with the, the little mini runs that Latin Academy's been making, the game still hasn't gotten un under 10 points in, this, in the whole half. That's right. Fuko hits the first. We mentioned, too, that the free throw shooting hasn't been great for Latin Academy as Aiden and Jacino come back in. With Tech Boston, you got Buko and Clooney, who are two very good right. free throw shooters. You can put the ball in their hands now late in the game and, and put them at the free throw line. Yeah, and know that you're going to be in good shape. Buko now has 15, 15 now, and he has only four in the first half. Martinez almost lost it. Trying to find the three point shooters. There he is. Kick it to Aiden for three. Carries that one. Cuts the lead back down to 10. 
Haven't been this close in a very long time. Clooney buries the pull up. There's that mid range shot I was talking about. He did that a number of times against Allington Catholics to close that game out. Elijah Clooney with the mid range jumper from the top of the key extends the Bears' lead back to 12 here with 3.23 left to go in the fourth quarter. But again, for the Latin Academy, they'll, they'll come down, they'll run the same set, have Aiden come rolling on the baseline until he gets open. They set a pick in the, in the lane. He hit that 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 three. So what's he got? He's three. He's got, he got three, three threes. Right, yeah. But, he's, but unfortunately for him, he started out like 0 for 3 or 0 for 4. That's right. So it's been tough sledding until now for Osman Aiden. And nobody else from Latin Academy right. has hit a three at all. Orlando Jacino can knock down threes as well. He sort of had a, a, a tough game tonight, too. We'll see if maybe they can get him going here late. But the Dragons right now trail by 12 to the Boston North rival Tech Boston for the spot in the state semifinals on the line. Benny Martinez, that's, that's a goal 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 that Buko. Yeah, that was uh, clearly hit the backboard first. But, uh, but again, Blanc, he's, <laughs> he's playing it out. I mean, he both ends of the floor, offense and defense. Back to a 10-point lead for the Tech Boston Bears. You're right, Pat. You're seeing the ball to stay in the hands of their best free throw shooters while they're killing the clock. De Leon on the drive gets it knocked away. And now we have a jump ball. On the possession. That will stay with Tech Boston, but there's five seconds left on the shot clock. Tech Boston basketball. Five seconds. There's De Leon. And the Dragons are whistled for a foul at the top of the key. I think they're going to get Orlando Jacino with the foul on De Leon. Just a tough break there for Latin really, Academy. Played, really good defensive good possession. Defense and this, the whole sequence. Sometimes you just get you're so over anxious because you know the, you know the time's winding down. You got the lead down to ten. Just hit a big three, but again, over aggressive. That'll always bite you. And De Leon cannot hit the first. Substitution for Latin Academy. Correa comes back in. Orlando Jacino just doesn't seem right tonight. I, he has a sleeve over his knee, and we actually saw him before their last state, uh, two state tournament games ago get kind of taped up on the knee. I wonder if Orlando's knee is really bothering him because he just does not look the same in this game tonight. Martinez. Well, Garen from the elbow. Right, Benny gets the rebound. Put back can't go down. Correa. Well, I'll tell you, it's tough underneath. <laughs> uh, now, in the, in the first half, Latin Academy wasn't really matching that toughness under the, under the, under the, under the rims. They've done a much better job second half, but their offense has still been sputtering. Two shots. Correa knocks down the first. One shot remaining for Michael Jackson. Yeah, Correa is one of the juniors on the team. So he'll be back for more next season. Can't hit the second. Martinez with the rebound. Can't hit the jumper. Blanc with the rebound for Tech Boston. 
and De Leon is fouled by Benny Martinez here down near the sideline. The LA foul is on number four, Benny Martinez. Bears lead down to single digits for the first time in a long time, but we got just 2.20 left to go. Uh, yeah, the first time this entire half. De Leon back at the free throw line for the Bears. So Latin Academy's got to hope that Tech Boston starts missing well, from the that's, free throw that's, line. That's the only chance at this point. You're right. It's just tough when you're, when you're forced to foul. When time's against you and you're facing, you know, double-digit deficit. They haven't, been, they haven't been this close since the first half. The violation on Tech Boston. Yeah. So that second free throw make will not Well, count. I'll tell you, Pat, you get a three now, it makes it pretty interesting. No question. Got some time left here. Nine-point lead for the Dragons. Martinez all the way to the bucket. Well, Guerin, putback doesn't fall. Elijah Clooney with the rebound for the Bears. Buko on the drive. Lieber can't get that to go down. Well, fine, uh, Benny, get, push it up. Aiden gets fouled at the top of the key. Yeah, Lieber, a little too much contact. One on one for Aiden. When you're trailing, you have to hit your free throws. Oh, we'll talk about that. So the clock stops. One and one for the Dragons. So Lieber will head back to the bench. Jamal Bogue back in for the Bears. And Aiden cannot hit the free throw. Clooney comes away with it. And then Clooney is fouled by Benny Martinez. The BLA foul is on number four, Benny Martinez, as his third personal. The Dragons are over the limit. Number three, the logic. So double bonus now for Clooney. The first. Yeah, he's had a big game all, all, all the way through. Cody cannot hit the second. Correa comes down with it for Latin Academy. Martinez was fouled on the floor. It's going to be the ninth team foul on Tech Boston. So Benny Martinez will be shooting a one and one. Next time Tech Boston commits a foul, it's going to be double bonus for Latin Academy. Benny Martinez currently three for seven from the free throw line. Benny Martinez shoots one and one. And he gets the first. One free throw remaining for Benny Martinez. Two for two this line. Time for the free throw line for Latin Academy. That's going to be a, that's and a lane be a, violation on the Dragons. On ben, it's on Benny, actually. He took, off, he took off from the foul line too soon. So take that actually, point he, off the board yeah, he for thought the Dragons. His shot was short, so he, he's right. So a nine point lead here for the Tech Boston Bears, 60 to 51. After that lane violation by Benny Martinez, 131 left to go. Get it out to Clooney on the break, and Elijah scores. Big basket there for Tech Boss, and they extend the lead back to 11. Dragons got to score a bunch in a hurry. Tip it over to Ortega for three. Three pointers just did not fall tonight for the Latin Academy Dragons. Elijah Clooney gets it swiped away. Ortega on the break, scores the layup. 
Dragon's not giving up here. It cuts it back down to nine with just under a minute left to go. Well, yeah, I think you wrapped it up with what you just said. The threes just have not been falling for Latin Academy. I'm not, I would, if I were to guess, I'd probably say that it's had, it had to be close to, if not the worst percentage of three points missed because they, they run their off. That's part of their offense, but it's a big part of their offense because they have good three point shooters uh, led by Aiden. But right. the, you run into a game like tonight where the defense for Tech Boston did a good job in the first half closing out, not giving you that same shooter space that you're used to. You, then when you start missing, it gets into your head. Uh, like I said in the first half, there was this period of time, it, it just looked to me like the Latin Academy kids were aiming the ball instead of just shooting their, right. re their regular motion. And those misses against the team as fast as Tech Boston right. turned into quick points, usually layups uh, for Tech Boston. And they, they did an excellent job. Uh, Tech Boston has a maintaining a lead, a uh, bit of a comfortable lead. And now, now we're down to less than a minute. Latin Academy has to follow. It's one of those things now Danny Bunker's giving them a certain number of seconds to get a steal. If not, right. get a foul. Elijah Clooney. Yeah, yeah. And Dragon's got to quit the foul now. They took off way yeah, too many Danny seconds was, I think Danny with Bunker was actually yelling for it a little earlier. But I don't think his kids couldn't hear him. So Clooney now back at the free throw line, trying to extend his team's nine-point lead. He'll be shooting two. Knocks down the first. One shot remaining for Clooney. Two for two from the line is Clooney. Now an 11 point lead for Tech Boston. Martinez for three. Well, Garen finishes off the window. I'm out. Latin Academy. Now, th hey, Raj. Now, this time they're going to foul early. Right. <laughs> you get 29 seconds to go. I mean, you have no choice at this point. Oh, yeah. It's, <laughs> they play it to the end. I think, you know, like I said before, you look at Orlando Jacino, who's, who's not one of their top scorers, but can sort of create shots. A little bit of a ball handler, knocks down an occasional three. I really think Latin Academy missed. He has, he just hasn't no, looked he right. Did. I mean, and they've really missed him tonight. And, and we've also, even with, he, he's not that big a body. He's, he's like a he's, he's football, you know player. He's player. football player. We've seen him in there fighting for offensive rebounds, getting putbacks. And you're right, that's that's the piece of their of their offense they're missing also. But I think Tech Boston deserves a lot of credit. Because no question. They were challenged early. Clooney took things, sort of took over in that first quarter. And now he's taking over here in the fourth quarter. That's right. I mean, Tech Boston has two really good shot makers in Buko and Clooney who they can really count on at the end of the game to create and, and knock down shots. All right, so Benny Martinez has just fouled out Cause, cause, because, because Bunko wanted, you know, the, 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 the quick foul. Number four, Benny Martinez. That's his fifth personal foul. He has been disqualified. And Benny Martinez fouls out. Senior for this last yeah, game. I was just going to say, not the way he wants to end his senior his senior's year. He's had, a, he has, he's had a really good run at the last He really has. He's been an unselfish player for a long time, too. He came off the bench for several years as players a year or two ahead of him were starting ahead of him was a really good player off the bench for Latin Academy the last couple of seasons this year was the first year he was really a full-time starter took over the point guard duties and, and carried this like Latin said, Academy yeah, team exactly he, like he took over it's a good way to describe it because he he does what he needs to do tries to get the ball to his shooters and to the big guys but then when he has to score he can he just has some very very tough luck in that first half Aiden launches from deep. 
I just saw Jacino dribble down the floor. You can tell he's limping. Yeah. It's just that knee just, I don't know if that's carryover from football season. It's just sort of wearing down, but you can tell Orlando's just not right. But again, you got to, I mean, this Tech Boston team is relentless. They, they have the, those two seniors in Clooney and Bucco, but then this gentleman at the free throw line, Gravensley Blanc, had a great oh, first half. He started things off, and he, he sort of set the tone because he hit two three-pointers when he had Shapiro guarding him. Then he went inside and scored a couple of putbacks, made his free throws. And then the second half, hasn't scored much, but he's, he's been blocking shots. As he rain preys on him, he goes over for 2 from the free throw line. Jacino trying for the three. Well, Garen trying for the three. That's sort of been the night from the three-point line for Latin Academy. Well, Tech Boston move on. And they will await the winner of Watertown New Mission, who plays tomorrow up at Watertown High. The Tech Boston Bears are moving on. They're heading to the state semifinal. Another impressive performance from this Tech Boston team here at Madison Park High. Well, we, we talked to Coach Williams after the last game, and he said, you know, for us, we're not happy with a, a good state tournament run. We're not happy with a you know, state tournament run that gets to the state championship. We want to win state titles. Right. They won it back in 18. They won it back in 19. They're looking for another one here in 2022. And he has a team that can do it. I mean, he, he's, they're, they're very aggressive, which I think turned the game around. Uh, the first quarter was sort of even until Tech Boston really started getting a little tougher, going after goose balls harder. Uh, like, like, we, like we mentioned, they were making some big shots early on. It just seems to be able to settle into their offense a little earlier than Latin Academy did. That's right. And that made a big difference because once the lead got to 8-10 and you have Latin Academy trying to make adjustments. That, that's right. That's tough because you always want to uh, go to your strength and stay with it. This game, uh, Tech Boston took Latin Academy out of it in the first half. That's right. And Latin Academy tried to claw back, but they just couldn't get there. Tech Boston Bears, once again, great game here tonight at Madison Park High. They are moving on to the state semifinals. Folks, we're going to head to break. When we come back, we'll have our player of their game and our final stats here from Madison Park High School in Roxbury right after these words. Don't go away. I never graduated from high school. I realized I wanted to go back to school because I didn't want to work these back-breaking jobs the rest of my life. With the help of my father and having my son, that was all the motivation that I needed to come back to school. I felt accomplished, it made me feel that I could take on whatever challenges life throws at you. Find free adult education classes near you at finishyourdiploma.org. Honey, what I think you need is a socket wrench. I played JV basketball. I'm sorry, I don't think it looks right. This is good that? and it's all is good, it, baby. Is it really all good? If you love me enough to routinely test your handyman skills, not to mention the strength of your marriage, then of course you'll visit nhtsa.gov slash the right seat to make sure I'm in the right car seat. I'm going to call my dad. One in three adults has pre-diabetes. That means it could be you, your favorite brother, your other brother, yes. you, your football buddy, your football buddy. You, your plumber. Breathe right into your foot. Your plumber's masseuse. Yes. You, your dog walker, your cat jogger. With early diagnosis, prediabetes can be reversed. Take the risk test at doihaveprediabetes.org.
When I was 10, my mom got deported. We had a difficult time, and I feel that's why I didn't get to finish school. My husband is really supportive in a way that he pushed me to go back to school. She wants to have a career so her kids can look up to her. They both keep me motivated to go to school, and they see that if I do it, like, they can do it too, you know? I feel that everything's possible. Find free adult education classes near you at finishyourdiploma.org. Each year, there are more than a dozen significant tropical and winter storms that threaten the East Coast. So chances are there will be more hurricanes and blizzards near here again. And between school, sports, and social lives, chances are you won't be with your kids when it happens. Will they know what to do? Ready.gov slash kids has all the educational tools and information to make the conversation easy. When the time comes, chances are they'll feel prepared, not scared. So talk with your family today. All right, Monroe. You ready? Monroe. Here we go. The butterfly. Ready? I am what hunger looks like in America. I am an eight-year-old girl who's not excited for the last day of school. Because this may be the last time I'll have lunch. Till September. I am a single father of two who works three part-time jobs. And that's still not enough to put food on the table. I was created by artificial intelligence from faces of the one in eight Americans who struggle with hunger. Feeding America, 200 food banks strong. Welcome back to Madison Park High School in Roxbury at the conclusion of Game of the Week. Tech Boston Bears defeated the Latin Academy Dragons 66 to 55 here in the Boys Division Three State Quarter Final. And tonight, Alan, you mentioned it before, Cravensley Blanc, the junior big man for Tech Boston, really set the tone really nicely here tonight for the Tech Boston Bears, especially in the first half. He's our player of the game, and he is with our sideline reporter Jesse Sheehan. Jesse. I am here with the MVP of today's game, Tech Boston's Kervensley Blanc. Kervensley, the final stat line for you, 13 points, 9 rebounds, 6 assists, and wait for it, 7 blocks. Kervensley, what was the secret for you and for your team today? Uh, the secret was, like, we need to come out the game, play hard, and pass the ball, and play harder than them the whole 32 minutes and I know my teammates I believe in my teammates and my coaches said uh, if you come out the game you bring the energy everybody else is going to follow you so I did that I think your stat line is perfectly representative of the defensive effort your team gave today did today whether it was on the perimeter or down in the post you guys were always moving in just the right spots what makes your defense move so fluidly uh, uh, we, we practice on defense like mostly I practice we don't really work on the offense because we can score the ball anytime. We got a lot of scores on the team. Eli, Yusuf, uh, they can score anytime. So we wanted to lock them down so we can win the game. Yep. Uh, uh, before the game, I talked to your coach and I asked how you guys always sustain this winning way. And he said, this is a team that buys into the Tech Boston way. What does the Tech Boston way mean to you? Um, Tech Boston ways means defense and play hard and bring it all out so we can win the state champion. Kervensley, you guys are going to the Final Four. How's that sound? Sounds pretty good. Uh, that's, what, that's why we won it the, the whole season. And we're happy for it. All right, Kervensley, thank you so much. Congrats on a great game. Now I'm here with Tech Boston coach Johnny Williams. Coach, you said people weren't counting on you. You said teams weren't, people weren't picking you coming in. Your team always seems to exceed those expectations. What's so special about these guys? What's so special? These are, what you see is a collective group that's been here. It started from JV. A lot of these guys were seventh graders playing JV, right? It's when you stick, determination, dedication, that's what we're about, right? So these guys are homegrown. These aren't guys, it's not a collective group that was picked, hand-picked, from AAU programs to go and, and flood a school. These are kids that wanted. All these kids were overlooked. All of them were overlooked. 
Coach, before this game, I talked to you. I said, hey, Latin, they're a big team. They're very physical. And you said the exact right thing. Hey, we're physical, too. And you guys seem to show it today. What is it that fosters the physicality, the strength, the defensive prowess of this team? Because we know, um, I think the old saying is, offense wins games, defense wins championships. We're here to win championships. We're not here to, to play no games. We win chips. Right? That's what we do. Coach, before you, this game, you said it's kind of come down to who wants it more. What made this group want it more? We always want it more because we're, we're always overlooked, right? They overlook our school. They overlook our teachers. They're always saying things. These are, these are our inner city kids. These are the kids that you write negative things in the paper about that you really don't know, right? Like, this is a problem. Like, they won't, they'll say Dorchester. Tech Boston, like these kids aren't respectable young men. So they always have a chip on their shoulder. In the classroom, on the court, no matter what. Well, Coach, I think there's one very big positive thing they can write in the papers about your school tomorrow. Your team is going to the Final Four. How's hey, that hey, sound? Hey, 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 hey hold, one it. hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Okay. It sounds good, but it's not over. Yeah. It wasn't, we didn't want to go to the Final Four. We want to win a state championship. We don't want the Final Four. We wasn't picked. Yeah. Danny, we wasn't picked. Hey, hey, man, shit ain't got serious, isn't it? Congratulations, Coach. It's fine. It's a cable station. We're good. Uh, <laughs> Heck well, of a game here today oh yeah. from Tech Boston. And it's, and, it's, um, you know. with, with the difference, like we've been talking about the different format, because uh, before it used to be north, south, east, east right. you know. Uh, so it's similar uh, in that this winner is now going to the semifinals, uh, with Final Four, right? So Tech Boston has as good a chance uh, as anyone to get to the, to the state championship game for Division Three. That's right. That, that's what it comes down to. Like you said, the uh, game tomorrow, uh, who is it? Watertown and New in Mission. Mission. They'll be playing. I think they're playing in Watertown, actually. They are. Uh, so that winner is going to have to face this Tech Boston team. So uh, they, it's, it's set up. For, they, they have their chance. This, this is the chance they want. That's right. Okay. So it's set up for them. They've earned it. That's so right. they're, they're there. They'll be there. Yeah. No question. And they are going to be a tough team to take down here in the last couple of games of the state tournament. We're going to take a look at the final stats from this game before we sign off from Madison Park High. And first up, we're going to take a look at the Latin Academy Dragons. Yeah, Latin, Maca Latin Academy. Well, Jaron uh, had a good game, 16 points. As a matter of fact, most of it was putbacks inside on the baseline. Uh, Shapiro started out well, but then sort of slowed down because they had to go to a quick, smaller, faster lineup. So he ended up with 11 points. Shapiro also gave you 10 rebounds, but Jaron gave you 9 rebounds. Martinez, tough game on offense. Did end up with 6 assists, did a good job in the second half. And with Jaron pitched in with three assists. Yeah, Coach Bunker mentioned that his backcourt was really carrying this team during the tournament. Those guys had a tough night tonight. They, you can see that in the final Very stats. tough night. Yeah, for Tech Boston, Clooney, we talked about uh, how he can handle the ball, set up his teammates in the first half he was a scorer second half he was a distributor and a defender 23 big points and Buka with uh, 16 big points Blanc our outstanding player had nine rebounds De Leon helped out with six also assists the big man Blanc with six assists it shows you That's how right. unselfish he was playing uh, then three assists for De Leon a uh, good all-around effort for the Tech Boston team uh, they're going to be tough, like you said, as they move on. That's right. If Prevenzi Blanc plays like that oh, in the next tournament game and in the one after that, if they get to the state championship, they're going to be really tough to beat because they're going to have scorers and defenders at all angles on this basketball team. Folks, want to thank you so much for joining us here on Game of the Week. If you want to watch this game again, you can certainly go to our website. and go to boston.gov slash cable scroll to the bottom of the screen click on game of the week that'll route you to our video library you can check out all the games from this season you can also go to our social media pages go to facebook.com slash game of the week boston a lot of good stuff up on that site make sure you like us there you can also follow us on twitter at boston city tv and if you want to tweet at us use the hashtag boston g o w this is going to be it for us here on game of the week as far as covering the state tournament we can't uh, broadcast some of these games live to the uh, MIA, MIA regulations. So the next time we'll be seeing you folks is at the Boston City League All-Star Classic. 
Details are still being worked out. I think it's going to be here at Madison Park, but we'll let you know on our social media pages when those games are going to be broadcasted, so make sure you check that out as well. I want to thank our crew again, grinding through the state tournament, as always, in the city championships just a couple of weeks ago. Everybody's been doing a fantastic job, as always, here on BNN and Boston City TV. Folks, we'll see you next time on Game of the Week. Good night, everybody.